we have just now seen four different types of models of blended learning through one way of classification. Some other uh, educational technologists, they think that models of blended learning need to be classified by another way where they have classified them into six different types. So we shall be discussing these six different types now and uh, we will see the details uh, further. Before that we will just uh, see which six of them are. They are face to face driver, rotation, third is flex, fourth one is online lab, then self blend and the last one is the online driver. Now here you will note that even if they have given these names differently or classified them differently, while we will discuss you will note that many of the attributes would be similar to those which we have already discussed while we were uh, discussing the classification on the basis of the four models. Uh, you will be able to keep linking these kind of attributes in the earlier classification and this classification. So we will see each of these in detail. The first one is the face to face driver. As the name suggests it is very very obvious that the main mode of interaction with the students here is the face to face mode. It is very much similar to a regular classroom kind of a situation where the students and teachers are interacting face to face mode and a component of onlineness is added to that interaction. This is very easy and rather uh, for a teacher who wants to go for blended learning approach this may be the first step to follow where the teacher doesn't have to change drastically the way of teaching and the way of handling the content. The second type of uh, model of blended learning is the rotation model. Now we have already seen the meaning of rotation in the earlier classification. Here also exactly same meaning is followed where the students they are rotated in the various stations or various points where they are given different kind of a learning experience at each point and thus they are uh, able to avail the benefit of every activity that has been designed for the uh, students. Now one of these activities or one of these points would be online point where the students will have an opportunity to interact with the fellow students and with the teacher through online mode. The third model here is the flex model. Now in case of flex model most of the teaching learning process happens through the online mode but that online mode interaction happens in a brick and mortar kind of institution and the students that means they come to the classroom or they come to the educational institution or an university but they interact with each other or they come to an educational institution but they learn through the online mode that is made available to the students students in that institution or in that premises. In this case the students are given different kind of support by the teacher on site through online mode where the teacher is available to them. At times the teacher is also available to them through face to face mode because if the students are learning through online mode they may face certain difficulties which are handled by this teacher who is available to the students through face to face mode and thus this kind of a teacher support is very crucial for the students who are learning through online mode. The fourth type is the online lab. Now this once again is similar to the classification we have seen earlier that in this case as the name suggests there is a laboratory available online different kinds of laboratories rather are available online and the students keep on moving from one laboratory to another laboratory uh, depending on the content their different kind of labs are made available to them the students keep on learning using these kind of laboratories here the students are also supported with the video conferencing or even the pre-recorded video conferencing at times even uh, discussions through discussion forums or even emails. So the students are not left on their own completely uh, but there is a continuous support by the teacher by using these various modes that are available to them. The fifth type of model here is the self-blend. As the name suggests 
the learner autonomy comes in a big way. So in this case, the learner is given most of the learning happens through online mode, but this learner also attains the face-to-face -face mode classes. But it is the autonomy or it is the freedom choice of the learner that what part of the syllabus one wants to learn through online mode and what part of the syllabus one wants to go for the face-to-face -face mode. So here as we see that in order to make this kind of choices the learner has to be mature enough to take such kind of decisions for making the choices of the modes that are available. The last model that is available is the online driver. Now as the name suggests, most of the course is available only through online mode. The teacher is also available through online mode. So there is a support given to the learner, but it is through the online mode by the teacher. It may be uh, through the discussion forums, maybe through blogs and so on. While most of the learning happens through online mode, there is also a face-to-face -face mode option available to the students. The students are learning at remote places from their homes maybe. They are enrolled to a, for a particular course and they are learning. But the face-to-face -face mode classrooms are also made available to them to a little extent. But whether to attend these classes or not is completely left to the learner. So it is the learner's choice. If the learner is completely empowered or is mature enough to learn only through online mode, then one may decide that I I don't want to go for this face-to-face -face mode classes. So from these six types one would understand that the first one which we had seen was the face-to-face -face driver while the last one was the online driver. So from these names itself it suggests that just like the earlier classification here also the beginning is from major chunk is dealt through face-to-face -face mode and a little of onlineness while when as we progress towards uh, the online driver, the most of the chunk is dealt through online mode and uh, a very little of face-to-face uh, -face mode support is given to the learner and it will be even learner's choice whether get you uh, benefited through this face-to-face -face mode or otherwise. Now as we had seen the earlier four models in comparative manner through a diagram. Uh, once again here also we are going to see the all the six models so that we are able to better compare all six models with one another. So let us see the diagram. So in this diagram you can see that the six modes are uh, denoted by A, B, C till F and uh, they are put on the X axis and on the Y axis they have put the different attributes like the extracurricular uh, and socialization possibilities then student independence, type of instruction and the location. So as one moves on the x-axis, it is more of traditional uh, way of uh, socializing that is maybe the face-to-face -face mode and as one moves further on the x-axis and as one moves towards online driver, it is more of varies from uh, both options and to another option like not only the face-to-face -face mode but even online mode would be available. Student independence is much less while face-to-face uh, -face driver is being used. Uh, it is medium for the rest of the next four models that is rotation, flex, online lab and self-blended. Whereas as one moves to online driver, the independence is high. Even in case of self-blend, one can see that one has entered into the area of high region for self-blend. So the choice of having the mode is definitely given to the learners. The kind of interaction that happens in case of face-to-face -face driver and it's a more of mix of both for the rotation flex and online lab. In online lab even the online online delivery there in existence and as one moves from to self-blend and online driver online delivery is to a, a great extent in case of online driver it is almost uh, completely through online uh, mode because as we have seen in one of the attributes in online driver the course is completely available only through online mode when one uh, compares them on the attribute of location they it is more supervised brick and mortar case of face-to-face -face mode and as one moves from face-to-face -face driver to online driver, this 
this uh, location and uh, even the supervision goes on reducing it is most potential for remote uh, location when it is online driver from this diagram we have noted that how the flexibility and the learner autonomy goes on increasing as one moves from face to face driver to online driver so it is a teacher has to take the decision to what extent this freedom is to be given to the learners while designing or while choosing a particular model for uh, their students it may happen that a particular part of the syllabus may be dealt through a particular model or uh, and another subject may be handled through another model so one cannot say that one kind of a model would be suitable for all the subjects it would be the teacher's choice of what kind of a blend to be chosen for her students through these models whichever type it may be using one can see that there are certain benefits of having the blend where the parents have an opportunity of what their children are doing in the classroom or what they are doing beyond the classrooms many a times it happens that the parents are very keen on uh, knowing what the students are doing what how they are interacting in the classroom what they are doing beyond the classroom what kind of homework is given to them so uh, this kind of uh, blended learning gives an opportunity for the parents also to get an idea of what is happening in the classroom